Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm here to show you John Renault Mariska. Really quickly, this isn't a complete full review, but I thought for those of you who like short pixies, uh, maybe fully hand tied caps, you might be interested in seeing this one. I did get this one from a wig sister. She had worn her, so this is a gently used piece. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to try new wigs and show new styles. So this one is a, like I said, a short pixie and it, the cap is fully hand tied. So what's the benefit of full, a fully hand tied cap? No wefting. So if you're outside, it's a super windy day, no worries about seeing wefting. Just a fun, low density, no permatee style, kind of no fuss, no muss, shake and go, just really fabulous. I mean, look at how cute. And this is one of those that you can put product in, you can mess her up, you can put accessories in, you can put headbands in, you can also smooth her out, you can tuck her. I mean, honestly, for a short style, there is a lot of versatility. And because she has a lace front, you can put her up in clips, in headbands. I have put a little makeup on the part line and I did pluck it just slightly to give it a little bit more of a natural, realistic look. And so right, that's what you're seeing right there. Let's just show you a uh, part of the part where I didn't do that. You can see what it looked like before. The beauty of this is it's a full mono top so you can part it anywhere. And so all I did was pluck it a little and put a little bit of makeup on it. You see a little bit of a dark spot right there. That is where the reinforcement is on the cap. So when you get a full mono top, from John Renault and generally from any wig manufacturer, a full monotop usually has a line right there that reinforces the monofilament between the monofilament and the lace front. It just gives it a little bit more support and strength so that it can be a little bit more hardy. This one does have an extended nape. I've cut the tag off of it so that you no chance of seeing that red John Renault tag through the pull uh, Velcro adjusters and nice velvet ear tabs with metal stays. And like I said, the whole cap is hand tied. This is what a fully hand tied cap looks like. No wefting, so there's nothing, no extra bulk added to it. No worry about seeing cap. If you if you uh, get in a wind or you, you know, get an itch or you move the hair, you're not seeing any wefting. This is the back of the wig. It makes it look like it's growing right out of your scalp. They're expensive, but gosh, they're nice. I mean, they just eliminate any worries of someone knowing that you have a wig on your head. There's no wefting to give it away. There's no extra poof to give it away. Uh, really, really great. And if you do like volume, this one's got a decent hair density and I can really get some volume out of this one by using some product and playing up on the layers. So it isn't one of those hand tied that is so low volume and so flat to the head. I think you can flatten it out. It's not high volume, but I think this covers kind of the gamut. It's the best of both worlds. You've got a wig that you can make sleek and low density and no poof, but the layers allow you to have fun, mess it up. You know, using some John Renault Peace Out Cream or other product, you can really do some fun, fun things with this one. I will warn you guys, this one is running slightly small. I would say it's average on the small side of average. There is decent stretch, but not a ton of stretch. So if you have an average large circumference or head size, this one might be snug on you. I would say it's going to fit solidly average to average petite pretty well, but it does come in a petite version. So you've got a little bit of flexibility there. This is the color 12 FS8, also known as Shaded Praline. This is a great color for a brunette who wants to go blonde or lighter. So you've got a root, and then you've got kind of a blend of a 12. So the eight is a medium brown, and a 12 is actually a light brown. But the way that they do the fashion syrup part of the color, that's the FS, and the way they blend these colors, it definitely comes across blonde, 
but with the dark rooting, it's a great, great transition color. I will tell you guys that I got a wig within my first year that was in this color and it was too blonde for me. And at that time I was wearing dark browns. So if you struggle um, with colors being too light, if you're not really, if you've never tried a blonde before and you're not really wearing super highlighted brunettes, this is gonna feel really light to you and it is looking blonde. But if you can do really highlighted brunettes, if you're working your way toward being able to do rooted blondes, this is a great rooted blonde. I'm standing in front of my bedroom window, so I'm getting all natural light on me. There is no artificial light on me right now. One other thing I want to point out, I can see my bio hair here just a little bit with this one. It's really actually pretty common, but the nature of this root it's not super dark. It's slightly an ashy root. And so when I tuck it, and you can see my bio hair a little bit, it actually, as long as I don't go too extreme and I leave a little bit of this down, it's blending really, really well with this root. So brunette, if, you're, um, if your natural hair color isn't super dark, or you've got a little bit of gray playing in on those Temple hairs, which that's kind of the first place where grays really start to come in once you start getting gray. I think you could pull this off. I do think if your bio hair shows, it will blend a little bit. All right, you guys, that's it. I just quick down and dirty letting you know about John Renault Mariska. Very, very cute style. So if you like short hair and you'd like to try a hand tied cap for all that realism, check out Mariska. Thank you.